Hello Cancer, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. I am off screen because I'm not feeling very well today. So we're going to be doing it like this. I know you guys usually don't like it, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's go for it. Cancer, what are the messages that are coming in for you? Starting off with the beautiful strength. And the King of Cups, wow. You've ha you have the hots for someone here. Very straight, strong bond. Like you're emotionally very much tied up with this individual. You start to have more and more affection towards them. Um, this is someone that you have a lot on your mind is what I'm getting. And you're trying to find the courage and the strength to kind of like communicate with them is what I get. Okay, like this is you trying to feel their feelings or emotions, trying to use your sixth sense as well as your telepathic ability maybe to tap into them, uh, to tap into their emotions and feelings. Like this is the one that you feel, like when they're sad, you feel sad and you feel like it's connected to their energy. When you're happy or when you're angry what, or when they are angry you feel their energy a lot is what i'm getting through here but you're um you're holding back from them with this three of wands you're probably expecting them to return your call or you're in in a waiting position here right like you feel like you've already shown a lot of dedication and a lot of compassion and love as well as strength for them and now you feel like, okay, it's, it's their turn to return the favor, right? Like not necessarily return the call, but it's really talking about returning the favor. You're expecting that this person is going to, at some point, meet you halfway here in regards to what you've been giving to them, right? And the King of Pentacles is on the other side. So the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups that's like two very masculine energies. It feels like you're both have been through a very significant personal growth here. And you're, you're probably dealing with someone that is very high in their position, um, very much a leader, a teacher, uh, someone that runs their own business, someone that is very abundant in life in all areas. Like they may even live like a very luxurious life, but at the same time, they have a very structured life. It's a very dominating career as well is what I'm getting. And they are very sensitive as well. Like don't get, don't think that an earth sign cannot be sensitive because they are, even if they are practical, they can be very sensitive. What's going to happen for Cancer here? What's going to happen for Cancer? Okay. We have the Knight of Cups with the Chariot coming through. That's your energy. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. And I'm going to clarify a little bit with their energy, what is coming towards you. But I do sense a lot of confidence here, a lot of control, like you taking the lead in this relationship, which is something that you us usually don't do, right? But I feel like you're getting so much confidence from, from, from their energy or their body language or something that happens that you're really willing to take the control here. Because I see a lot of confidence here, the strength, this chariot, the emperor. That's someone that, like I said, just very confident in what they're doing. Um, very determined, focusing on, on the relationship or on the goal of the relationship. You are willing to give without expectations. And I mean, like, yes, Obviously, you expect this person to give back in return, but it's not like you're going to keep like a notebook of like, okay, this is what I gave to them. So 
I deserve, like I expect it in return. No, you know that it's it's a flow of energy. If you give, you will receive. And I feel like this is kind of like the um, the lesson that is coming through here for you. Yeah, I def definitely see a lot of love here, romance. This person may take you out to some type of artistic environment, could be to the museum, could be something, something that is unusual is what I'm getting. And trust me, not everyone just had like a love relationship or reading coming through. Just want you to know that because a lot of people had work environment coming through as well or money abundance but for you i do strongly sense that this is this is someone in your life that wants to stay in your life definitely wants to stay in your life i do see that this is someone that has recently gone through a very difficult stage in their life this is the death card which usually comes when there is an ending um, there could be an ending of a relationship a long-term relationship or a commitment could be work related as well since we have the hierophant here we have the wheel of fortune so this ending in their life really brought them a lot of changes and also to think outside of the box because <clears throat> the hierophant is sometimes old structures old structures uh, it's also all about like old belief systems or things that we hang on to that are not serving us anymore because we've spiritually outgrown them and with the wheel of fortune coming through there is definitely a huge shift that this person is starting to make and i feel like with the nine of swords also coming right next to it this person is learning to untouch themselves like detach themselves from worries and expectations of others and live a little bit more of a um, kind of like an adventurous life here so this is someone that may have had like a stuck structure going on like stuck in the rut type of structure and now they're completely changing their life to being more outgoing more adventurous and filling their life more with lust or or energy uh, than worry so this is someone that is coming out of an old structure and seeing a new light so there's definitely something like you're dealing with someone that you know may have always had like this nine to five job and then they're retiring and they're like okay i'm going to go travel or do something crazy it's like <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting it, but like Breaking Bad, <laughs> you know, there is an energy of like someone breaking bad out of their routine. <laughs> okay, that is super funny. I'm sorry. Like who comes up with that energy? Breaking bad of the routine. Mm. It could be also after a loss for some, only for a few. This person has, may have been a widow or is a widow, lost their wife, okay, with this death card. Um, and now they're coming out of a mourning stage and they want to live their best life. For some, this is a way older person, exactly. The Empress at the... Um, the Empress. Wow, the... Whomever this is, they see you as a very loving, loving woman, all right? They see you being very attractive, warm, uh, someone that has personal goals, someone that is very independent, independently achieving their own goals, someone that is very fertile, ready for a new beautiful chapter, someone that loves luxurious things in life, um, like to take care of themselves, always looks fleek, like they are absolutely adoring you, like that's what I get here, Cancer, this person adores you a lot. Is there anything else that we need to know? What a balanced reading you have, like very flowy and loving.
All right. Well, even in, in these energies, you get some good stuff coming through. You got the wish. You got married. Round and around cycle triggers and lessons. And we've got the side hustle coming through. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to clarify it because for everyone, it could be a little bit different. What I do get foremost is that this, this is someone that has been married probably with this um, Hierophant card. I don't feel like this is you uh, being married to them. I feel like within their relationship, they have been going through a lot of triggers and through a lot of spiritual rest lessons. And now they wish to be a little bit more free. They wish to do things differently. Like I said, there's this side hustle, right? So they want to try something outside the box. Yeah, they wish for a new life, for new excitement. Um, this is someone that's been a little bit stuck in, the, in their old ways of being. Especially if they have been married. How about this married energy? King of Swords to the King of Wands. We got two kings coming through. For some of you, this could be a same-sex marriage thing. For others of you, I feel like both people were just not on the same page here. You see that one is looking away and the other one is trying to make a very... Um, it's very cold in a relationship while the other one is very warm. So there was definitely some type of difference here. Uh, Four of Cups and the Four of Swords and the world card so it does look like this is someone that either just recently got divorced or is still healing from a marriage that kind of like failed what is this round and round oh financial struggles financial injustice uh, giving more money to your partner than necessary or your partner taking a lot of your of, of the finances this may have been some type of a huge lesson for them. Definitely with all that earth energy, money has been definitely ruling their circle of karmic lessons with their counterparts. But let's see what this has to do with you because I find it a little bit strange to kind of like read for the, the third person's energy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry that this came out, but... I'm not happy with that either, trust me. I just have to say what I'm seeing. And maybe this is you, this is your energy. That could also be the case, right? We've got the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, both reverse, and the Three of Cups. So maybe you need to take it a little bit slow at this time because... You don't want to waste your time of energy. I don't know why I'm getting this. I'm going to clarify what their intentions are. But what I'm seeing from this is like, don't chase for the breadcrumbs is what I'm hearing. Sorry, Cancer. I'm just trying to tie things up because here we had like a very positive reading coming through. But for some reason, something is kind of like shifting here. And I had it here as well. So I'm going to try to find out why we have the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Now, this could be also something completely different. It could be a friendship where you've been overgiven yourself and you feel like it was a waste of time. Um, that's what I'm seeing here as well. 
gosh, I'm so sorry. I just completely lost myself in the reading. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened here. <sighs> okay, Wusa. Really Wusa. Probably because you're the last reading. But I don't know. I think it's just something strange in your reading. I'm so sorry for this. I probably tried to do a reader for you because I'm definitely not happy with how this twisted. It started off super good and then like shit just happened here. Because when I see in what they want or their intentions with you, we've got the five of wands, two of wands, ten of pentacles and the five of cups. So I do get someone that is still battling um, commitments. All right. So you may need to give them a little bit of time. What, what, that is, what that means is that with this Knight of Wands, this is someone that may want to live their freedom after the divorce or after the breakup uh, of their other relationship. And that might give you the idea like, oh, this person adores me and loves me and looks up to me and all of that. But at the same time, this is someone that is afraid of being disappointed again in another marriage. So again, this could be talking about you wanting to marry and be like you know the empress but the person here wants to live a little bit more outside of the lines because they are afraid of being disappointed in another commitment so that's why maybe i feel like with the three of cups is saying like keep things slowly uh, don't take on their breadcrumbs but keep their a little keep them a little bit in a friend zone and don't try to become something quicker than yeah don't don't jump into it i'm sorry don't jump into this relationship is what i'm getting what is the um advice here we got the ace of cups we got the four of swords and the six of cups And then the Empress. <clears throat> hmm. Well, with the new love, I mean, this just feels like it is a very deep connection, okay? Like the Ace of Cups is here. However, I do get the sense that you may need to take a little bit of a pause or a break and allow this person to heal from their past. The Six of Cups is here, nostalgic energies, memories from the past, things that still need to come into fruition here when it comes to their healing. And I feel like with the Empress, eventually things are going to be looking up for you there is definitely a very abundant life that you're having here however needing to take a break here that's what i'm getting i'm sorry for uh cancer i'm i'm really lost in your reading really confidence is your key to success so <clears throat> that's what I have for you. I will try to do another reading for you since I'm not quite happy with this one. But yeah, if anything helped you out, let me know. But I will probably delete it um, after one day. Okay, so thank you so much and catch you soon. Take care.